Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to go through the Windows 11 23H2 installation process and we're going to talk about what has changed because there are a few things that have been changed in the installation process and you need to know about them in order to have a pretty simple installation whenever you're doing a clean install of Windows 11 23H2. So if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about Windows 11 23H2, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Before starting the video, I want to introduce you to private internet access. Using the internet without private internet access is like leaving your phone unsupervised in public places. All it takes is one quick thief to grab it. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Private internet access is the world's most transparent VPN provider with over 30 million downloads and their no logs policy has been proven multiple times in court. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. With private internet access, you can also unblock restricted content such as news websites for Canadians, which have been blocked in the past month. And you can use one private internet access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. In the first section of the installation, everything is pretty much the same, just have to select the language and keyboard or input method, click on install after you click on next and the setup will start. In this case we don't have a product key, we're going to select the operating system Windows 11 Pro and then click on next, then we have to accept the terms, select that and then click on next and we're going to select custom install windows only and we're going to install windows on this unallocated space and then click on next. And here it will copy the files, get the files ready for installation, install the new features, updates and then finishing up. As I've said, this port is pretty much the same but we have some changes in the OB section of Windows 11 23H2 when we're gonna go through them once we get to that part. After the restart, of course, we're going through the small setup where Windows is starting services, installing some drivers, and then we're gonna go to the OB part of the installation. So now we're in the OB section of the installation process. I'm just gonna select United States as the right country or region and then click on yes, then yes again, then skip. After a quick restart, we're gonna have to name our device. I'm just gonna name it and then click on next. Then we're gonna set up for personal use and then click on next again and here we're gonna have to unlock our Microsoft experience and basically now if you log in with a Microsoft account by clicking on sign in you're gonna unlock some new experiences that you can have inside the Windows installation process and experiences that also will carry on after the installation process on the first button and we're gonna talk about that a bit later here we're just gonna log into our Microsoft account and then click on next and now in this screen we have something that is pretty new in the installation process and that is the restore section basically Microsoft has now done a very tight connection between the backup app and also the restore section from the installation process and basically when you are connected to a Microsoft account you will be able to restore your PC backup which will now include folders, apps, settings and credentials and of course you can customize this in your currently installed operating system in the backup app and you also have more options here and as you can see I have here a lot of backups that were done previously but of course the latest one is this one and I can restore everything I want from that backup if I'm interested but as I've said settings apps also files can be restored with this new restoring section i think that is a pretty good addition for microsoft and it could be really useful because think about it now you have some issues with your computer or anything like that you have previously set that all your important settings files and folders applications and so on to be backed up with a backup app you can just simply clean install your windows operating system and have all your things good to go in just a few seconds by restoring them from your previous computer but in this case we're just going to set up as a new pc we're going to have to create a pin then click on OK and the choose privacy settings for your device. This is how I normally do the settings. I uncheck advertising ID, tailored experiences and I leave the first four as they are basically enabled and then click on accept. Now before talking about the next section from the installation process, you could encounter the new presence sensing options inside the OB section. Well, I don't have that on this computer because you need to have presence sensing support on your computer, but you're going to have a screenshot here. You basically can enable that from the installation process and you'll have it in your computer after you install it. That is also a new thing that is related to Windows 11 23H2. And finally we have another thing that is new in the installation process in Windows 11 23H2 is the let's customize your experience section. Well now depending on what you choose here the experience will be different after installation. For example if we choose here development right after we boot up we will be greeted by the dev home app. The dev home app will be automatically opened after we boot up for the first time on our computer and also 
if you choose entertainment or gaming or anything like that, you should get the new Get Started app opened up automatically after the first boot up. But Microsoft is saying that they will customize things even further in the future. And basically, if you select something, you'll be greeted by certain applications that have a connection with what you chose. But in this case, I'm just going to click on skip. As I've said, if we were to select development, for example, the Dev Home app will be automatically opened after the first boot up. Here we have the option to connect our phone using phone link for Android phones and also iPhones. But I'm just going to click on skip for now. I think this is also something new, but is still related to the restoring section. And basically, it will allow you to restore your recent browsing data from Microsoft Edge. I'm just going to click on not now. I'm going to decline Microsoft 365, then decline again because I don't need a subscription at the moment. I'm also going to skip the PC Game Pass for now. Basically, we've now finished up the installation process. We're in the screen where it says this might take a few minutes. Basically, it's doing the last few things, the last setup, and then we're going to boot up on our computer. I'm also going to show you an extra thing that you need to do when you install Windows 11 23H2 for the first time. Now, the first thing you do after installing Windows 11 23H2 for the first time would be to press Windows plus I on your keyboard or open up the settings app from the search box and then go to Windows update and then select get the latest updates as soon as they're available and then click on check for updates because there is already a patch that Microsoft released for Windows 11 23H2 and that fixes quite a few small things, a few small bugs and this patch will basically improve the user experience altogether. So make sure to do that. So basically this is the full tutorial and everything you need to know about the Windows 11 23H2 new installation process. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.